So first things first, first things people need to do is come up with a budget, right? You wanna go ahead and review your monthly bills, see what you're comfortable paying, what you think you're comfortable with paying, make sure that works in your obligations. You don't want any more than 40% of your paycheck going towards rent, car, and your bills. So you wanna kinda of keep that available to you so it's, you know, 60% is available for emergencies if things come up. Plus it keeps you in your lifestyle that you're looking for. You still wanna go out to the movies, you still wanna go out and do some other things. That's what that money is there for, to help you do. It's a budget and down payment. So, and we're talking about income. It's very important that you know where your income's going, right? Uh, when you apply for a loan, we're gonna ask for verification of your income. So we want reportable income. You may have a side job that pays you some cash under the table and that's fine. Unfortunately, we can't use that. So we're looking for income that shows on your W-2, income that you show on your tax returns, income if you're a self-employed person, maybe you're a 1099 contract worker. Those type of documents will need to go ahead and verify your income. The other thing that we're gonna you know, look at is credit scores and things of that nature. Um, we want you, again, to be above 650 for a good score, and we'll work with you, but we work with everybody with what your credit score is. The key with your credit score is always remembering it's gonna drive your interest rate, and the higher the score, the less you'll pay on your loan as far as interest rate is concerned. The other thing you wanna do is do some research. Think of what kind of car you wanna buy. Have you checked the NADA value of the vehicle? Have you seen something on the street that you like to use that, you know, be coming down the road? Uh, a particular SUV that you like, particular sports car you like, something like that. Find a vehicle that you like and do your research on it. NADA is a good place to check. Kelly Blue Book is a good place to check. Um, Edmunds is a good place to check to kind of get values of those vehicles and see what they are and see again if it fits into what your monthly budget is. The other thing you want to look at is your credit score. You kind of want to be in a sweet spot above 650 and above. Anything below that, come talk with us so that we can go ahead and help you. Maybe you think of some other alternatives to help boost your score, review your credit report with you, make sure everything that's on there is correct. Because if it's not correct, then we need to get that taken care of. But if it's correct and there's maybe some slow pay or some other things, we can help you with those type of things. Credit score. So we were talking about credit score being about 650 or above, 650 being a sweet spot. You want to be a little bit above that. And that's important because your interest rate is going to be determined on your credit score. Each interest rate is now customized to credit score. So if you have 650 and below, we will want to review your credit report with you, see how we can make improvements or whether we need to do a credit repair loan at this time to help fix some things. Maybe we need to clear up some things and show you how to do that so you can clear those up to help boost your score because we want to get you the best interest rate possible. So you may want to consider whether you're buying a new car or a used car based on a couple different things. If you're going to hang on to the vehicle for five years or longer, you may want to consider new because the depreciation will catch up to you by five years and everything will start to level out. If you're going to trade your car every two to three years, you may want to go ahead and consider used. Um, somebody's already taken the depreciation for that, and that's a better way to go. Besides your interest rate, it's going to affect maybe your car insurance. Um, a lot of car insurance today is going ahead and going using credit scores to, to determine your risk factor, whether lower scores typically may be more involved in different types of accidents, so you may pay a higher rate on your premium than you would necessarily if you had a good credit score, 650 and above. 